Hey everyone and welcome to Steam Deck Gaming. So today I'm going to talk to you about why I am ditching Windows 11 or Windows at all on the Steam Deck because it is an absolute nightmare. Now you may have seen the reduced content on the channel recently that's because I've spent a fair amount of time trying to get Windows to work effectively on the Steam Deck to do some comparisons and also some gameplay but I've had enough. Now You'll see a guide on the channel for doing the Windows 11 to go on the SD card. And I also say in that video that I don't recommend it because it's extremely unstable and will most likely crash. And thanks to the latest drivers from Steam Deck themselves, it's broken Halo Infinite and a bunch of other Xbox Cloud games. So although you get audio, a load of the games are now broken on Windows 11. So it is just thwart with problems. And if you have a unstable USB-C dock, you see that I've tried to jam a bit of paper in here because otherwise you get a bit of wobble. This will cause your SD card or the NVMe drive, which I'll show you in a second, to slightly disconnect, which then crashes Windows instantly. Not to mention the fact that if you do want to do it, every time you reboot or reboot Windows, you need to hold down these buttons. And if you mistime it, Instead of getting the bootloader, you will go straight into Steam Deck. This means that you then have to power off and redo it every time. Now, I said that I did it originally with a SD card. I then went and purchased an M2 NVMe hard drive and put it in an external USB-C dock. By the way, this is absolutely awesome. The speed of this thing compared to any of the top end SD cards is absolutely amazing and the fact that this is actually cheaper than the sd card versions and gives you like quadruple the speed is well recommended all the links to the tech and stuff that i use are in the description below so if you do want to check those out then please do the usb c dock is a must if you're going to do anything for recording or just want to use a mouse and keyboard and this little re i4 mouse and keyboard is an absolute godsend for anything in desktop mode and especially in windows as well because it's got the wireless so it really is useful now it's not just the fact that windows has been an utter pain to get working that i'm not going to be covering it anymore and i don't want it anywhere near the steam deck even when you have got it working the interface is just lost the Steam Deck interface for Steam OS is just so well done. It really isn't worth your time or effort to dual boot. Now, if you're going to replace the Steam OS directly on the device, it will probably run a lot better, but it will still extremely frustrate you because Windows is not made for mobile devices. They binned mobile devices a long time ago because it just wasn't working for them and there's just no need to. Now with the Proton versions constantly evolving and also being able to get the extra launchers, there is really a subset of games that do not work on Steam Deck and we will continue to try and get those to work on the channel. However, there are other ways to run Windows on the device if you have a stable internet connection, which we will cover on the channel for those few games that you can't get running locally on Steam OS either because of the anti-cheat or because the way the games are set up, it just doesn't work. So what you have to ask yourself here, if you do want to run some of those Windows games on Steam Deck, is how much is your time worth? And how much is your gaming time worth? I've been trying for a good three to four days to get Windows working properly. And just when I thought that I got it working, the drivers for Steam Deck got updated or the Windows drivers get updated and things break again and then you spend another day trying to figure it out. So if you want a stress-free life with the Steam Deck, stick to Steam OS and either use the custom Proton versions or some of the other workarounds in the few instances of games to get those working. As I said, you have things like Stadia or Xbox Cloud Gaming or GeForce Now or even Shadow PC if you want to run those unsupported games and we'll show you the performance of those on the channel going forwards just so that you can see if you have a stable internet connection there is a great way to play those games and if you are just wanting to play offline there are plenty of other games that you can play when you're away from that internet connection. 
So anyway, that's my wrap up and why I don't think that you should run Windows on Steam Deck and I certainly won't be running it on mine anymore. And I'll be repurposing the NVMe storage either into my PC or just to hold extra games on Steam Deck. Let us know your thoughts on the channel and if you've managed to get Windows 11 stable or whether you have also given up. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, stay up to date with all things Steam Deck and we will see you next time.